Hey, if you've been struggling with your two-handed backhand, <laughs> I feel your pain. It was my worst shot and it caused me to lose so many matches. All the pros on the tour knew my backhand was my worst shot and they would pick on it. Today's video, I'm gonna show you one thing that was wrong with my backhand. I'm sure you'll be able to find other things as well. And one thing you can focus on that can make a huge difference right away. My name is Jeff Salzenstein. I'm the founder of Tennis Evolution and I'm passionate as a coach to help you get to the next level with your two-hander and with the rest of your game. So let's dive into this lesson right now. And if you enjoy it, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and you turn on your notifications so you can be updated with all the latest release, releases. Let's get going right now. Let's take a look at my backhand. It's, I'm not proud of it, I'll be honest with you. This is the one shot that kept me from moving up the rankings. The players and the pros picked on it. And there was one big thing that was wrong with it. Well, probably more than one big thing, but I want you to take a look at this. See how I'm hitting this backhand right there. Now, if you look at it in fast motion and you haven't studied the backhand that much, you might say, wow, you know, I'm stepping in, I'm leaning into the ball, I'm driving through it, and yes, I was able to do that on the tour. I was able to step in. I was able to catch a few backhands, but I, I, I struggled on the high ball. I struggled on slower balls. And what I want you to see right here is how I'm really leaning in. So take a look at how this front shoulder has really dropped. And I'm really leaning in on this backhand. So when you do that, it's very difficult to get the extension that you want and to get the hands to release. It's almost like I'm muscling the ball here and my, my right hand can't really release, okay? So that's a big problem. But what's actually a bigger problem is that <clears throat> my hands don't really drop. If you study the best backhands in the world right about here, you'll see their hands dropped. And because I had tension, in my arms and my hands when I swung on my backhand, especially this right hand, because I was gripping too tight, I could never get the racket to really drop below the ball the way that I wanted to. So not only is my posture not great and my head is leaning forward, hey, I was told step into the ball, lean into the ball. But not only are those problems, but this hand right here is so tight that I can't drop the racket underneath the ball. And yes, I can make backhands. Yes, I can drive through it still, but it's just not an efficient backhand. It's not the backhand you're going to see the pros hitting these days. And so this is the backhand that really held me back. Imagine leaning into a ball like this, not, drop, not dropping the hands, leaning in on a ball that's shoulder height. It's pretty tough to do it. I have to even tip forward even more and kind of guide it even more. So this tension in my arms, this tension in my hands, the inability to drop the racket head, you see all the pros doing it, that's what really held my backhand back. Again, there were other things that held it back, but this was a big one. So now I wanna contrast this with, with me actually focusing on dropping my hands, focusing on the loose right hand, letting it drop, and I want you to see the difference here. All right, let's look at this backhand where I'm really focusing on dropping my right hand. So we're gonna go in faster motion here. See what you can pick up in fast motion, in a normal motion, I should say. Okay, so let's take it back and let's take a look at these backhands right here. So the setup's pretty, pretty much the same here. And then right when I go to the ball, watch, look at, look at how my hands drop. Now they could even drop more. That just shows me that I could drop this racket head down to the ground even more to help me get under the ball. And so this makes sense why I hit the ball short and why I hit the ball in the net because I, it wasn't natural for me to drop my hands, especially my right hand here, and get that racket tip to face down towards the ground but I'm still doing a better job of it here. And you'll notice when, by just focusing on dropping the hands, it keeps me from leaning in with my shoulders as much. So now when I'm hitting the ball, look at where my head stays. My head stays over my center of gravity more and my, and my arms and my hands can really release. So even though I'm stepping in and I'm starting to lean in a little bit, I'm definitely I have better posture, 
I have better balance, and I'm able to release the hands and extend the hands more, all because I dropped those hands. And again, if you're struggling with your two-handed backhand, or any shot for that matter, there's a good chance you have so much tension in your hands that you never get the racket to drop. And again, I'm going to tell you right now, it can drop more than this. But if we do a side-by-side -side comparison, you'll see a big difference. If your hands are relaxed, you can release them. You can extend with your arms. You can get more extension. You can drive through the ball. You can get more rotation naturally in the ball when your hands drop. Follow the pros. Watch the best two-handers in the world. You'll see those hands drop. I wish I would have focused on this when I was on the tour. I wouldn't have struggled as much. I would have won more matches. And so now that I'm a coach, I'm here to help you, and I want you to develop your two-handed backhand like the pros. And it starts with relaxing those hands, dropping them under the ball so that other good things can happen with your shot. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel and you just turn on those notifications because we want to update you on all the latest releases. We also want to help you take your game to the next level. And you can do that. You can take that next step by clicking the link below or somewhere in this video to get more powerful free tips that can help you with your game. Thanks for your time today and we'll see you at the next lesson.